welcome to my channel today we are having a delicious 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 lunch we are having coconut rice with black beans and guandules pizza and having some pork ribs delicious delicious nice and tender falling off the bone soft in the inside a little crispy in the outside just the perfect taste and the perfect combination let's go straight into this recipe if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel where i speak with the broken english but the food tastes delicious 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 if you love rice with coconut this recipe is for you and if you don't like it you could learn so you could have it for christmas holiday this type of rice is very good for any kind of holiday, any kind of party, weddings. In the Dominican Republic, we'll have it for birthdays, wedding, family gather, whatever occasion, Christmas, New Year, any gathering. We all we usually call moro, which they call it in my country. Let's do this recipe now. Stay until the end because I'm going to be revealing my secret barbecue sauce, how I use a specific combination to get. A delicious 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 barbecue ribs or it doesn't matter what type of meat you are cooking either in the grill or in the oven this sauce is going to add a little kicking flavor to it so stay tuned because at the end of this recipe I'm going to be showing you my trick for the delicious sauce the ingredients that I use to season these ribs are fresh garlic Dominican oregano dry thyme, liquid seasoning, black pepper, paprika, turmeric, and adobo. Those are the ingredients, very simple, that I use to season these ribs. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to mix it real good to make sure that all of the seasoning are incorporated each piece of the meat i'm going to put in the refrigerator overnight so then like that when it's time to put it in the oven it tastes very good i'm not sure still if i'm going to do it tomorrow or the day after but the important thing is that it's already ready just to put in the oven whenever i'm ready to cook and today is three days after i seasoned the strips because i saved them then when i got them from the supermarket so I don't have to worry about having them in the freezer, then I forgot to get frozen and none of that. So if you see, look at all the water that came off the meat while it was in the refrigerator for three days. All those flavors are going to be delicious, 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 delicious. We're going to put it on the oven at 400 degrees for one hour and then we're going to decrease to 350 and then we're going to decrease to 300 and i like to do it like that so um i kind of seal the meat first and then i let it decrease the temperature little by little so they could get tender but without getting burned let's do this these are the ingredients guandules black beans coconut milk oregano, turmeric, paprika, adobo, thyme, cilantro, green onions, red bell pepper and green, garlic, olives, and onions. And to store fry our ingredients, we're going to be using coconut oil because we're making a coconut rice. So, um, coconut milk and coconut oil. Forgot to mention, but we are going to be using a Maggi chicken cube so we can um, add some flavor. We are adding, we are adding the coconut oil. And what we're gonna do now is that we are gonna place two pieces of onions. And we're gonna let them kind of let um, fry for a little bit to let go a little bit of their flavor before we bring all of the other seasoning. This is a trick to have to enhance that flavor from the onions.
Culantro. Now that the water started to boil, we're gonna add the rice. We already added our rice and I'm using the two to two ratio for the liquid and the rice. And I'm also using Carolina Gold rice. Now we're gonna lower the flame to medium heat and we're gonna cover and let the rice cook until all the water is consumed. Here I have my final ingredient that I already added this ingredient at the beginning, the piece of bell, red bell pepper that you saw that I had. I only cut two pieces and I put it in, but the rest of it, I cut it in small pieces. I also only added the olives that I have in pieces and I saved this for the end. And I took two branches of cilantro and I tied it up in a knot. Also from the four clove of of garlic i put two in at the beginning and i left two for the end then like that these ingredients are going to add some fresh taste to your rice if you don't have extra garlic in your house and you need it to cook for the week don't be even bothered doing this but if you do have it and you want to add that extra kicking flavor you could do it like this this is not this is not how i was taught how to cook when i was little I was told how to cook like this only for the soup to add this at the end for the soup when I was making soup but I adopted this habit by doing it to the soup and now I just do it to my rice and I find like when I cook rice whether it's locrio or moro which is locrio is the rice together with me I feel like I get that extra kicking flavor to add these ingredients towards the end and also at the beginning and now we see that all of the water has been consumed and we're going to cover the rice after we add those fresh ingredients and we're going to let it cook 20 minutes the cilantro we just put it right in the center of the rice and we cover it up
we're gonna make like little mountains and then we're going to make sure we put our spoon in to make sure that our rice is breathing and we're going to cover it for 20 minutes Look at how delicious our ribs are coming along and all of the oil that have dripped out of them. We're gonna flip them now. One hour passed by and now we are going to flip them and put it at uh, 300 degrees. We're going to flip them one by one. Smells delightful in here. Everybody knows but I'm cooking because it smells delicious. My neighbors from the first floor, the third floor, you know, every time I cook, they always tell me, it smells good in here, what are you cooking? Sometimes I share and sometimes I don't. It depends on the day and what I'm cooking. And if they you know, I normally don't do this, but when I season my meat, I added some of this goong squat sauce. Oh my goodness. It has like a little spicy taste, but like also like smoke taste. I don't know, but this ribs taste amazing with this dance sauce. This is not a promotion. My son is obsessed with these youtubers i mean obsessed it's a very positive channel um they fix cards and do you know ovation for card build different type of card you know they paint cards um something that my husband and my son do but my husband and my son every time they have a new product they like to buy it you know to support them and i said let me put some of the seasoning on these ribs oh my god delicious 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 like i said this is not a sponsorship this is not a promotion i'm just sharing um this is this is pretty good so kudos to you gon squad brothers because my son is successful with you guys and this right here with some meat is delicious i'm going to make my secret sauce with different sauce i have ketchup mustard honey and barbecue sauce i like to mix them up and create a sauce for my delicious ribs And our ribs are already done and we are going to have it with our delicious delicious my secret sauce is delicious can't wait until I take a bite see how it's falling off the bones that's the way I like my ribs flavor and tender let's check out our rice Oh, look how delicious it came out. Wow. We're going to remove all of these big ingredients, the onion. Oh, and the pepper. Guys, this smells amazing. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I love the smell of full cook with coconut since I was a little girl. Just that distinct flavor that you don't get it from no other ingredient but coconut. Growing up in the Dominican Republic, I used to love to smell oh, that coconut rice. Delicious. And the cilantro. 
the aroma from the cilantro when I just open the little space. Mm. That's why I put it to the end so it could it could taste with fresh cilantro. Because yes, you put it at the beginning, but then the flavor kind of wear out because the rice is boiling so many times. This rice not only looks amazing, but it tastes amazing. And how it smells so delicious with the coconut. Now, let's serve it. Mm. 